so need to cute. do this again. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that better? How am I? Yeah, you're good. Am I good? Okay. I got my face out of a box before I came. <laughs> I'm Hannah with Handmade and it's Mom's Week. So today I brought in my mom to show me how to use a drill because she's awesome with power tools. We've got three kinds of drills that I don't know anything about. Well, this one you'll never know anything about because, well, after I die, you'll get it, I guess, uh, in the will. But uh, this, this is an antique drill. This was my dad's first drill and it's my first drill. And you notice there's no cords, there's no battery pack because you use your muscle. Okay. This is not available in any store, anywhere, and... Uh, but if you are lucky enough to have this as your inheritance, you too may someday own a drill. Do you want you can it? Stab you. No, not really. It looks dangerous. Well, you have cousins that might want it. Okay. If you don't want it. That's wonderful. You let me know before I die. Okay, so there are two types of drills. Old school for mom. It's electric. You plug it in. And a battery pack if you're all about that cordless life gives you power, doesn't it? It does. You need to know the parts of the drill before you use it. So this is a chuck, right? Yep. That's a chuck. He used to be Charles, but... Um, You're really familiar with him now? I know him well. These teeth right here, like the jaws, yeah. are gonna hold the bit. And you're gonna tighten to hold it in, if you have a little one, or if you have a really big one. It's gonna be wide open. Okay. All right? Got it. Okay, and then old school people like me, have what's called a chuck key. Put it in any of these holes, I've got three of them, and tighten it up. Once you get the bit in, see, it doesn't have a bit to grab on, so it's moving. Oh, gotcha, okay. Got it? Yep. This is going to determine which direction you go with the screw. Normally, it's gonna be in forward. Okay, right? how, do you, how do you know what direction a screw has to go in? Have I not taught you anything? Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Oh, it's cute. Okay. I just took you around the world of a drill. Aw. I've loved our journey together. Me too. <laughs> so most mothers collect ceramics or china, but you collect drill bits. This is just a portion of my collection. Okay. There's not room. No, anyway. These are just the regular bits. I use these on wood and, and PVC. Okay. I need to drill into that. These are masonry bits. I'm getting ready to hang a new wreath mm -hmm. on my front porch, but I have a brick house. And so I'm going to take this to my wall. And these my, are my masonry porch. because they've got these little Yeah, it's like a end. burr on the end. Then these are spade bits. When I put the peephole in the back door at the house on Goddard. Yes. And it was kind of crooked. Yes. Well, it's not his fault. Okay. It was because I had a little off angle. I feel like they're all your friends. Through. They, well, okay. I know them That's well. And, uh, and this one is the one I used to put in the peephole. Gotcha. Remember when I had a desk lamp that I wanted to use and I had a bookcase above the desk? Yes. I decided to put a hole in the back of the desk. Right. So this is what you use. Okay. This one has the drill bit, it gets you started, and then this thing cuts into the wood. So it's like a saw. And, and I could get an electric cord plug through that mm -hmm. hole so I could put the lamp in. Gotcha. Nice. Nice. Okay, if your wrist is tired mm -hmm. or you're just lazy, <laughs> you're just lazy. or you can, you can do it with oh, this cool. and you can put this into your bit part, tighten it up with the chuck, mm -hmm. right? And you've got and Phillips or flat. Phillips or flat. Great. All right. Then, if you really mess up, you have a screw extractor. Now, I want you to notice that these have never been opened <laughs> because I've never because had to use pro, them. you're a pro, mom. You're a pro. I've never had to use them, but if I did, I could put this in the drill. Okay. Right? The, as a bit mm -hmm. and put it in reverse into the screw that I want to get out, mm -hmm. it comes out. Really? It's so cool. But of course, they're brand new. Of course. There of course. you go. Nice. I taught you to brush your teeth every night before you go to bed. You did? Yes. I'm going to teach you. Week. These are the sorts of things we <laughs> talk about. I'm going to teach you how to take care of your tools. Okay. Now, I do this for all my tools, my screwdrivers, my wrenches, everything. I clean them periodically with a household all-purpose oil. Clean your bits after you use them, before you put them away. Each time you do a job, start with clean tools. But it probably will increase the life. It's not just that you're anal retentive. Well, that's true. It's your shirt. Oh. Girl power! Right? Yeah, it's cute. I wore it for the mom week. So since it's mom week, uh, we have a couple questions for you. Um, the first one is, what was your favorite thing you learned from grandma? Sewing, hand sewing. 
Oh, yeah. I can take a hole in a sweater and make it disappear. You actually can. I really it's can. Magic. <laughs> I'm humble that way. Not just power tools. What about me annoys you the most? About you? Yeah. That annoys you? This annoys is a producer me? question. I don't actually want to know. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> that works and cut. Okay. How you don't like my driving? I think that's a fair one and I accept it because I really, really don't. I feel like you should go at least the speed limit. 20 is not acceptable everywhere. Well, I don't go 20 on the interstate. I always go about three miles over. So if we're doing our math, 23. So that that annoys me. <laughs> that annoys me. Oh, <clears throat> so I know all the parts. We've cleaned everything. I get the bit thing now. So can we actually make something? Can we get to drilling? I guess we can. A little enthusiasm for the camera. I guess we can. All right, so there is this one project that I've been wanting to do for a while. You've seen it all over the internet, all over Pinterest. I'm pretty sure we've done it for Handmade before, but um, I didn't know how to use a drill, so I couldn't do it by myself. So Mama's here to show me how to do it. Um, so we're gonna make these little planters with a hose clamp that just take one screw. Very smart. Okay, so we've just gotta center it, right? Yeah, but don't you wanna measure? Yeah, yeah, let's measure. Yeah. I always measure my projects. Okay, so it's three and a half inches. So we want one, and I don't have my glasses you on. Don't. Find you don't. Fine three quarters. Drive. You can't, okay. You did that so well. Thank you. I always try to affirm my daughter. The battery packs out, so get your drill bit. Okay, how do I know what size bit to use? You wanna find something that's a little bit smaller than your screw. Okay. All right? Got it. That way, when you screw it in, all these t these uh, lines and grab. grab on. Yeah, right. you got it. See. Okay, now open the chuck. Okay. Put your bit in. Tighten it up. That's it. Okay, so you don't want your drill to go all the way through the wood. Correct? Right. So, why don't we mark it? I've got some uh, washi tape. Yeah. You can use painter's tape. Anything that's going to come off your bit easily. Okay. Especially since it's been oiled. Um, but this is the way to mark it so you won't go in too far and it'll still come off when you're done. You see that mark? Yes. That's where this is going to be. Some people are lazy and don't pre-drill their holes. They'll be sorry. They'll be sorry. Always, always pre-drill. And I'm gonna hold your wood for you. Stop. Now, put it in reverse. Okay. And hit the trigger. Yep. No, you're not pushing, you'd wanna pull. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Got it. Now. Got it. Look at that. You made. It's so cute. Oh, oh. You made a hole, guys. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, now, sorry. So, we've got to put this on, right? So, we're opening the clothes hand. Uh, uh, what what is clamp. that? Hose this clamp. This is like surgery. So, we open the hose clamp so that we can get a straight angle so we don't get it crooked. You ready? Yes. Go. It's in reverse. Good girl! Yes! Woo! Yes! That's another one. <laughs> See, guys. Okay. All right. That's never gonna go anywhere. Nice and tight. Perfect. Okay. Righty tighty. Lefty loosey. You got it, Ace. Okay. What's the favorite Mother's Day gift you've ever received? I really liked it when I got a sander for Mother's Day several years ago. But my very favorite gift okay. is a few months before Mother's Day, I found out I was going to have you. And I had wanted a child for 11 years. Aww. And you came. After Mother's Day, you were late. I was very late. It's fine. That's my favorite. Oh, there are so many moments, guys. So what do you want for Mother's Day this year? Well. Uh, I think I want something to put flowers on a wall, like on a board. Or maybe succulents on or a wall. Or succulents could be, you know, because perfect. everything green in my house dies except for your dad and me. So that's it. I finally learned how to use a drill. All of my friends are now getting these. What's the coolest thing your mom ever taught you? Tell us in the comments below. And give us a thumbs up. 
and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Bye.